Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my slow cooker curry chicken. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a can, 398 milliliters of coconut milk. Put that into the slow cooker. And then about a quarter of a cup of um, curry powder. I'm using Jamaican curry powder. And then whisk that together. And then I'm going to add about a cup and a half, or a cup and a quarter of water. Okay. Stir that really good. I'm going to add some salt. Just probably about a half a teaspoon. And I'm going to add some pepper, just to taste. Okay. Give that one more good stir. Now, I'm making this for a big family, so I've cut up five chicken breasts into manageable bite sized pieces. I'm just going to put that into there. Just stir to break them all up. Then I'm going to add, this is just one medium to large potato cut up really small into bite sized pieces. I also have one large onion, four cloves of garlic, and one um, jalapeno pepper. I ribbed it and took the seeds out because I'm feeding children too. And I don't want it to be too hot. If you want it a little spicier, just leave that stuff in. So all of that goes into the pot. And that's all you're going to do at this point. You're going to turn this up on high. I cook mine on high for about an hour. And then I turn it on low. And I cook it for another three hours. So I've turned that on. And then when you're about a half an hour before it's finished, you're going to take any color pepper you want. A lot of people use green, but I'm going to use a small yellow pepper and a small red pepper and you're going to stir that in because you don't want these to become mushy and also to thicken up your curry at the end a little bit of cornstarch and water mixture and stir that in let it heat up and that'll thicken it up if you don't have cornstarch you can use a flour and water mix just kind of make a little bit of a paste with it and stir it in and let it cook off the remainder of the time. This is really good and I hope that this video has helped and thank you for watching.